What do you reckon, Charles? You're not exactly doing a lot, are you? I can't exactly call this contributing today. Just doing some basic relaxing, yeah? <laughs> Is that yeah? Jesus. Pretty good life, isn't it? What do you reckon, Charles? Good night tonight? Good weather? Good for broadband targets? What do you reckon, L Pro? Or no filter? What do you reckon, mate? Broadband. Bottle 5, L Pro, no filter. Come on, mate, give me some advice. Look at that. Just not interested at all, are you? So my first job now is just to get this rig, this small rig with the Canon lens on it and the ASI Air. I'm going to get that polar aligned. So I'm going to use the app and ah, firmware update. <laughs> okay, it'll take several minutes. Update. Okay, so didn't expect that one, but fair enough. So first things first, let's select our mount. is just going to be a Skywatcher AZ GTI, there we go, um, yep, main scope, okay so we're going to put in 200 millimeters, um, yep that's right, select our camera, 533, 120 mini, that's all good. Alright guys, so we're getting there with focus, we just need a few more tweaks. Always a bit of a um, nuance, just trying to get that spike in the middle. Nope, I've gone the wrong way again. Let's see how we're looking. Ooh, that looks pretty good. See if we can zoom in on that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think we've got focus nailed. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, that's step two. So let's go to polar align now. Okay, set up the scope as shown. I need to park it first. Where do I park? Go to the home position. What? It's not the home position. Hmm. Okay, so for some reason I decided to go to the home position twice, but anyway, it's going now. Alright. So let's go for shown. Let's go. Here we go. Let's polar align. Place off to two seconds. Next. Rotate the axis. Okay, it's doing it. Okay. <laughs> My global starring. 
is not very good. All right, so Palo line is done, guys. That was not too hard, even though it's been a while. So we're pretty much ready now to go. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna let it um, tick on a little bit because I need it to be about at least sort of 10.30 before I can start on these targets. So um, yeah, hope you'll join me a bit later and um, we'll see how we go and I'll catch you pretty soon. Okay, g'day guys. So it's been a good few um, days now. In fact, it's probably been a good week and a half since I took that data. Um, I did run into two issues along the way. I had an issue with my mount, and I think that was completely my fault where I had the dovetail bar too far back on the mount, and I think during the Meridian flip it was actually hitting, so I did lose quite a few exposures through that. Silly mistake, which I won't repeat again. Um, the second thing was that about six days later, I tried to add some more data, but unfortunately this time, you know, we had a fair bit of moon out. And um, what I found is that combining that data from six days on with the original data, um, I found it extremely hard to process. And I was actually gonna kind of give up on the target completely. So what I did is I, I just went back to the original data set that I took on that nearly nearly new moon and um, I processed it again and sure enough it actually came out m looking much better so I guess that was a good lesson for those um, you know for those broadband targets is just to really try and maximize those new moon skies and probably be careful then about what you add to that data set um, moving forward because in this case adding more wasn't better it actually um, made the image worse um, so anyway, um, I've spent a few hours processing the image, came up with a, a result which is not too bad. Again, I, you know, I would like to um, add more data to this, but I think um, overall I was reasonably impressed by just using the Canon um, 70 to 200 mil zoom lens. So I had that at um, 200 mil, um, f5.6. And um, on the AZ GTI, I was actually pretty happy with, with how that came out overall. And it definitely gives me a little bit more range in uh, focal, focal length at 200 millimeters. So um, here is the final image. And um, as always, uh, thanks very much for watching the channel. And um, if you would consider subscribing or liking if you enjoyed the video, um, I'd really appreciate that. So I um, hope you've enjoyed or got something out of this video. And, um, and I'll see you on the next one. So catch you later, guys.